TA Tech Tip, we're going to be preparing the ITC ampule for an experiment for the TAM calorimeter. So the first part of preparing the ITC ampule for an ITC experiment in the TAM is to adjust your stirrer height. And here I'm using a one milliliter ampule and the one milliliter gold propeller. And I've just placed the gold propeller on the uh, central shaft. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just put the ampule in place to push the stirrer up in place. So now I know the stirrer would touch exactly the bottom of the ampule. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move it up about one millimeter or so. So I know the stirrer isn't rubbing on the bottom of the ampule during the experiment. Then what you need to do is adjust the height of the syringe cannula in respect to the stirrer itself. And so now that I have my stirrer in place, I can place the syringe cannula down the guide tube and I'm going to watch the height of the syringe cannula in respect to the stirrer. And you see here I'm about one to two millimeters above the stirrer and I have a piece of tape to mark the position. So now when I have my sample loaded and everything's in place, I know my syringe cannula is going to be injected right near the stirrer and my solutions are going to mix during my ITC experiment. So now we have the stirrer height, the cannula height adjusted. I'm going to go ahead and we have to wet the central shaft of the ITC ampule. And Wetting the shaft is important because you, you have a large dead space above your sample and you don't want any evaporation to occur during your experiment. And so we wet the shaft, we put a little waste beaker underneath the ampule, and we're going to take about 5 to 10 milliliters of water and we're going to inject this water into the outlet of the ampule. And so we just connect this little piece of tubing here and we're going to inject the water through and you see how it comes out the bottom there we'll just inject that straight through and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up a couple times the syringe with air just to blow out any water droplets so that they don't fall in your solution during the experiment you see I got some water to drip out the bottom there and so that's important to get all the droplets out so we're not going to dilute the solutions during the experiment. So I do that and go ahead and drop the uh, some of the droplets out. And the next step is to take the short uh, tube of the of the wetting tool kit and place this up into the central shaft here and it kind of extract any water droplets that you have on the lower end of the shaft because there is a, an O-ring and a Teflon separator right here that some droplets can accumulate and we want to make sure that there's no droplets there. And then the final step is we want to make sure that there are no water droplets on the bottom here that can fall into your sample and so we just dab those dry. So now with the ITC ampule you want to make sure that the central shaft O-rings have been lubricated for stirring. And then we've adjusted the stirrer height. We've marked our syringe cannula. Now you're ready to load your sample into the ampule, circlip it in place, and equilibrate it in the TAM3 calorimeter, and you're ready to set up your experiment.